Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about how to generate the PDF file in LWG component. Okay. So we know uh, the Visual Post page directly we can able to download uh, as a PDF file, but in the LWG there is no option to uh, download directly. Uh, we need to use the uh, we need to call the Visual Post from LWG component. Then only we can able to generate the PDF. Okay, so any other other some other method also available, but this method will be very easy. Okay, so for that the first step, what is this means like we need to add download JS file in static resource. So it, it, this is one of the script file. Okay, we, we need to download from the online and we need to uh, upload in the static resource. For example, I'm going to my static resource static resource file so if you go here i have added the download js file so this is a download js file if i open this you can see so it totally uh, 3485 bytes are available we can able to view this file so what you need to do uh, you need to download this file from online and you need to upload in the your static resource okay and i will tell you where we need to use this uh, download js okay we need to use this in the lwc component we need to uh, import this one okay so just what you need to do you need to um, go to online and download this js download js file and add in the static resource okay similarly so if you don't know how to add it go to static resource click on new and choose the file the downloader js file you need to add here for example uh downloader js so we need to add this one and name and private public uh, we, this should be public okay make sure that and uh, you can give any name and you can save that one okay so better you can give downloader js file here so next step is uh create a visual post page with the content okay so so what the pdf file how the pdf is look like we need to generate the pdf uh, content in the visual post page for example so i have created this visual generate pdf is one of the visual post page okay this visual post page i have created with this content so if i remove this uh, render render as a pdf then it will be open as a normal PDF, a normal visual post page but if we use render as a pdf in the top of that then this page whole page will be uh, render as a pdf okay it will be can able to download using the pdf for example uh, i will tell you preview click on the preview this file will be open as a um, pdf file we can able to download this one okay but we need to call this one from the lwc component we cannot and uh, we cannot directly call from here we need to call from the lwc component okay so for that, if you want to, uh, before that, I will tell you what are the things I have done it. Uh, we, we have used the, um, some background image. This is a background image. So I have used a different approach, but you can use the static resource. So in the static resource means here, you need to use, you can upload the file in the static resource and you can refer here directly, then it will be work. Okay. The image will be look like here. Uh, left to center right so three images there but the content is not available in my arc that's why it's uh, printing as a um, some um, breakable image okay so you, this one you can use a static resource and the static resource image will be available here okay you need to use that uh, link here static at uh, dollar resource dot the image name that's all you need to give here and these are the st styles if you want you can give and this is a normal html file like a table a tr rows so it is i have designed based on my requirement i have designed okay you can give anything you can give anything in this based on your requirement you can design this table and it will be reflected in the your pdf file the pdf file will be look like this one so i have designed these things okay so now we need to call this PDF file from the Apex class, first of all. Okay, for example, this is the Apex class, uh, uh, the print job PDF controller. Okay, so I have created this Apex class. In this Apex class, I have called the this PDF file, generate PDF. Okay, uh, for that, I have created one method, get PDF print. This method will be called from the LWC command that I will tell you how to call that. 
Okay, so these are the page reference. Okay, and we're getting the content and um, uh, uh, bytes. We are going to download the URL and returning the um, page strings value. Okay, so these are the steps to call the Visual Post page in the Apex class. Okay, just just you need to give the Visual Post page. You can use the same content and you can give your PDF file name here. Okay. So this is a uh, second step. Second, yeah, this is the third step. We still post page from the Apex class. Now we need to create the LWC component and we need to call the Apex class. Okay. So for, for that, so this is the LWC component I have created, print jobs container. Okay. Uh, here I have created one lightning card, title is download PDF and one layout I have created and the div inside the div, I have created the one button. So in this button is a standard LWC button only uh, and the label is generate PDF, okay? If you click this button, the generate PDF on method will be called, okay? So we can go to the JS file and you can see this method will be called if you click on that button. So before clicking the button in onload functionality, we need to do basically some action we need to do, okay? So the render, uh, uh, render callback is there. <clears throat> this is one of the life cycle hook, uh, like a constructor, a connected callback, a render callback, a disconnected callback, error callback. These are the life cycle hook, okay? So in this, this method will be called whenever the component is loading at the time itself, this render callback will be, um, yeah, render callback will be called, call, will be called, okay? So uh, for that, uh, what we need to do, we need to use the load script. Okay, so this this is a default uh, default one. We need to use load script and lightning slash platform resource leader. Okay, so you need to import this one in our lightning component. And the top of that, after that, uh, download JS. Okay, so we have uh, added the download JS file in the static resource, right? So in the static resource file name, we need to give here. So at Salesforce uh, slash resource URL slash this one. So, okay, uh, so I already told you, right? Here we have added the stat download JS file. So in this one, we need to refer from the LWC component. Okay, so download JS and name I am giving the download JS. So after that, I'm calling the our Apex class. So we have created one Apex class. This is Apex class. Okay, and this is a method. So you can see this is a method uh, class name and this is a method name. So this in this method, we are calling the generate PDF, okay? So after that, uh, we need to use a load script in the render callback functionality uh, method we need, to go, we need to do. So load script, okay? This is a load script, okay? After that, we need to use this comma download JS. So we need to load the static resource that we have added a download JS file we are loading here. Okay, so if it's loaded successfully, then this console will be print. Otherwise, the error console will be print while loading the console, no, while loading the page. Okay, I hope you understand about this one. Just we need to load the script. We have added one script in the uh, static resource. That script should be loaded here. Okay, then only we can able to download the. Uh, we can able to call the uh, visual post page. Okay, so now if you click on the generate PDF button. Okay, here you can see the generate PDF method will be called and download PDF. Okay, so this one we have imported here to call the Apex class. Uh, so after that, once it's called, we will receive the response. The response will be window.open response um, array, uh, array of one. Okay, so if in this meaning is array, so array of one. Response of zero means like if here you can see we are adding in the two string, uh, uh, page strings, page string start add download URL and page string start page, uh, PDF page dot get URL. So two things we are adding. So if you use zero, this download URL will be get and one means you will get this one page. Okay, so we no need this one. Basically uh, file name, if you want, you can check it the file name. Okay, otherwise this this line is enough to open the PD, uh, Visual Post page. Okay, so let's save this one and, uh, and push it to your org and let's see. 
So I'm pushing to my R. Okay, so now I'm going to my R and refreshing. edit page okay so before that what we need to do we need to add the metadata here you can see that in the in the metadata we need to use where we are going to use in the target so targets inside the targets we need to target any home page and record page so i used to both i used i can use a home page also and record page also we can use so now i came here and i need to drag and drop that particular comment yeah print job uh, container is my lwc comment Save. Changes saved now. Okay, so this is the uh, download generate PDF. This is the button we have created. You can see generate PDF. If you click on this button, and this method will be called. Okay, so before that we have done the uh, render callback. This will be run while whenever the common is loading. At the time, this method will be called. Okay, this lifecycle hook basically. So lifecycle hook means while loading the common itself, that the, what are the contents you have mentioned, those things will be uh, called. So now we let's see whether the, our loader download JS is loaded correctly or not. So for that, inspect element console. Here you can see loaded down, uh, download.js. Okay. So now I, now we can show report our script. This line was executed correctly. Okay. So now if you click on the PDF button, it should be called our Apex class. Okay. And it will call our Apex class. In this Apex class, we have a post page. And let's see whether it's calling or not. So I'm going here. Just make sure it generate PDF. I cannot read the so respond zero came message. Okay, something issue. So let's command this one. Let's command this and uh, try to deploy it again. Let's see. So now we can refresh it. So, okay, so it maybe takes some time to load the command here. Okay, now save it again go back let's see now the low comment is loaded or not so now the comment is loaded uh, you can generate the pdf so now you can see uh, the pdf is open the new window okay and it's opening the what are the content is available so the image is not available in my R. That's why it's coming here. Similarly, you can add the image in static resource and you can refer from the, uh, you can refer from the, um, where it is. Oh, 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 oh. Everything is closed actually. So open resource. Generate PDF and one more. This is the controller. Okay. Now I hope you understand how the flow is working. So I will tell you from the starting. Uh, it's very simple only. I we have created one LWC component called print job container. In this component, we have created one button. In that button, we are calling the our Apex class. We are calling 
uh, in the apex class okay what is that apex class uh, print job con uh, con control is the our uh, apex class in the apex class we have one method get pdf uh, print this is our method we have you can see it from here we are calling the visual post page and returning the page strings we are written okay generate pdf so the, the pdf um, is, this is one of the visual post page only in this visual post page we are making as a pdf okay if you use render as a pdf then this file will be generated as a pdf okay so this content will be anything based on your requirement okay for example body div and uh, this is one of the div okay i am giving a headers and inside that i have created the one table okay this is the first table and uh, this is the second table and this is the third one okay the values we are giving so if you see it here so this one so this is for first one like a table format and this is the second and this is the third okay this is the heading basically so we can design anything and we can pass the data also from lwc to uh, visual post page we can able to pass and uh, uh, we can um, we can get the data and here uh, we can able to print the data with the data okay sorry for that. Um, after that yeah so after that before that we need to load the script okay load script we need to do use is a standard function standard one and need to use load and download js so this is the file we have used the static resource and we need to do use here okay so once it's loaded successfully then we will get the this message will be printed in the console downloader uh, loader downloader.js file okay so now i hope you have understand about this uh, functionality how the pdf generate functionality is working in lwc so if you have any doubt you can Mm -hmm. put in the chat and i will reply it okay and make sure you can download this uh, you can please download the js file in the online otherwise let me know i will share the um, link where we need to download this download js file okay so yeah thanks thanks for watching